TMJ pain, referred pain, how to differentiate. Let's understand the clinical decision algorithm to separate the TMJ, TMD pain from referred orofacial pain. Save it, share it. Step one, rule out the primary ear disease. Abnormal otoscopy, which is red canal discharge, tragus, auricular movement pain, bulging TM. If yes, treat or refer as otitis externa or media. If ear pain is present with abnormal examination, primary otalgia. If no, normal ear examination, likely referred otalgia. Go to step two. What is step two? Is it joint driven, which is TMJ or muscle related, dental related, neuro related? Pain clearly worsens with jaw function while you chew, talk or yawn or with joint loading when gentle superior pressure is applied on the molars and there is familiar pre-auricular tenderness over the lateral poles. If yes, TMD, arthralgia, degeneration most likely. Manage conservatively. Imaging is needed if red flags are present. MRI for disc or effusion, CBCT for bony changes. If no, go to step three. Is there an audible click, intermittent locking or limited opening less than 35 mm with pain tracking which is sudden or wide opening? If yes, disc displacement with or without reduction. Conservative TMD care, MRI if it is persistent or there's a history of locking. If no, go to step four. Palpate the masseter, temporalis, medial pterygoid, sternocleidomastoid and trapezius. Do you reproduce the same familiar pain, often tooth-like, in the temple or in the ear from a taut band trigger area? If yes, myofascial source, which can be masticatory or cervicogenic referral. Treat with muscle therapy, posture, behavior change and splint if there is parafunction. If no, go to step five. Any tooth specific cues, thermal, sweet sensitivity, lingering pain, percussion, tenderness. If yes, suspect pulpal or periapical source. Perform cold test, which is the most accurate chair side, periapical imaging and CBCT as indicated. If no, go to step six. Paroxysmal electric shock pains, which last for seconds to few minutes, triggered by light touch, chewing, brushing with trigger zones. If yes, trigeminal neuralgia. Refer to a neurologist, dental pain specialist, following the ICHT3 criteria. If no, go to step seven. Is there a sinus pattern with facial cheek pressure worse when it's bending forward, rhinorrhea or congestion? If yes, treat or refer for rhinosinusitis. If no, consider atypical facial pain, migrant variants or mixed pain. Manage the symptoms, review psychosocial factors and consider multidisciplinary referrals. Remember my dear friends, these questions will route you through the diagnostic flow as mentioned. Save it, share it, let everyone benefit. Take care.